requirements, medical practices are transitioning from the International Classification of Diseases 9th edition to the International Classification of Diseases 10th edition, or ICD-10. This program will demonstrate how to analyze diagnoses and locate the correct ICD-10 CM code. The materials you will need are the patient record and the charge slip or superbill. You will also need an ICD-10 CM manual in either hard copy or electronic access. Begin by locating the patient's diagnosis. This information may be located on the superbill, also known as the encounter form, or elsewhere in the patient's chart. If the diagnosis is on the superbill, verify the documentation in the medical chart. The ICD-10 requires greater specificity with the diagnosis to accomplish this. For example, if the diagnosis was carcinoma of the breast, this diagnosis is not specific enough and requires further documentation from the physician. Once the complete diagnosis is established, find the diagnosis in the ICD-10's alphabetic index. Look for the condition first, then locate the indented subterms that make the condition more specific. Read all cross-references to check all the possibilities for a term, including its synonyms and eponym. Following the directions in the alpha index, locate the code or code range from the alphabetic index in the ICD's tabular list. Read all the information to find the code that corresponds to the patient's specific disease or condition. Study the list of codes and descriptions. Be sure to pick the most specific code available. Watch for instructions advising of the need for additional codes as well as instructions regarding coding sequence and need for sixth and seventh digits or placeholders. Document the chosen codes carefully, remembering the sequencing instruction. Locating and logging the correct ICD codes is important for insurance claims to be understood and paid in a timely manner.